Hey yo, what's up guys? My name is Lappy. Okay, in today's video, we're gonna try to boost the FPS on any game, including Fortnite, only optimizing our windows. So we don't need to install any window custom to improve the performance. On this video, I will show you the best settings and some settings that can help you improve the performance of it. So I'm not gonna make the video too longer, so I hope you guys enjoy, and let's start with the video. Don't forget that you can support me as creator using my code SLAPPY in the Fortnite adding shop. Also, you will participate if you use my code in a giveaway of 1000 V-Bucks card. So if you want to participate, use code SLAPPY and don't forget to subscribe. Before we continue, you need to know something really important listen carefully all the steps what i said before we continue the reason why i'm saying this is because a lot of people is not listening what i said before i start to make any optimize on my pc make a restore point is really important so please every time that you try to do any change on your pc you should create a restore point because maybe the settings that I'm gonna do on this video doesn't work on your PC because you already optimized your PC several times and don't think that optimize several times your PC can give you more FPS that your PC can handle so please if you already optimized and you want to try this and it doesn't work you need to create a rest of point I don't wanna make the video too longer or this information too longer but I see a lot of comments of people just complaining about it but I'm saying that if you want to do this please make a rest of point I don't wanna waste your time so let's start with the video okay first of all i'm on fortnite let me close fortnite it doesn't really matter the settings on fortnite okay so in the description you have to link one with the website and one directly to the file if you search through my website you're gonna support the channel a lot so if you don't want to waste your time download via website you can download with the direct link that you will have on the description if you go into my website you need to go to the last post once you are on the post you need to scroll down and click on the download button once you are here you need to download this file so you can have the programs that we're gonna use on this time once you download you're gonna have this window file you need to extract and you're gonna have this notepad you need to copy the command that we're gonna use now you need to type in the search bar powershell okay over here as you can see we have powershell you need to run this thing as administrator once you open it you need to wait and as you can see we need to do this it's really simple just paste the command here and click on enter okay as you can see right now this app create automatically a restore point okay as you can see on the restore point options we have a restore point called before using windows 10 the bloater once you know that this make a restore point automatically we're gonna do some changes that this app can help us to improve the fps First of all, as you can see, we have some settings over here. We're going first with the other change fix it. First of all, I'm gonna disable the telemetry task. And as you can see, it's gonna start to disable all the tasks that you need to have disabled to improve the performance. Remove the blockware of red keys. Now we need to uninstall one drive, but in my case, I have already uninstalled it. So I don't need to uninstall one drive, but if you are still having one drive, click on uninstall. Also, you have an option to unpin the tiles from the start menu but in my case i'm not gonna do it also we're gonna disable cortana we're gonna disable the hpdf and in my case i like the white team so if you like the dark team you can change it you just only need to click on enable and it's gonna start to change the team so in my case i don't like it so i'm gonna have disabled okay last thing that we need to do is install the framework in my case i have it but i'm gonna show you how you can install it it's really easy you only need to click on install and as you can see we're gonna install the version 3.0 5. and as you can see it's installing the version 3.5 and it has been successfully installed okay once you finish of install the framework we're not gonna use this anymore so you can close the powershell now i'm gonna show you some settings on windows that you need to have if you want to have way to better performance first of all go to any folder now over here go to this pc and click on properties go to advanced system settings over here it's really simple as you can see we have a section called the performance you need to click on settings now over here we're gonna have like this you need to click on adjust for the best performance and you need to have activated a smooth edge of screen fonts and show thumbnails instead icons now you need to apply what we do was decrease the visual effects so we can have way too better performance without have a lot of visual effects a lot of windows custom disable that settings because they know that this can take you a lot of performance now you can close this okay now you need to go into settings of windows over here you need to go to apps now you need to go to startups you need to disable the apps that you don't use 
in my case i disable all the apps that i don't use to use like cortana skype spotify so you can improve the performance without half that app opens now you need to go back to the settings now you need to type here background apps now you need to click on background apps over here you need to also disable the apps that you used to use on my case i already disabled and i'm gonna show you what i disable okay one last thing that you need to have to improve the performance of your windows is has the best power plan first of all you need to go to power now over here you need to click on additional power settings and as you can see once you are on power options we're gonna have some plans i have the balance high performance if we show up some additional plans we're gonna have power saver we need to select the high performance power plan if we want to have way too better performance we need to have this power plan activated or selected and once you have the high performance now you're able to go in game that's all the settings that you can reduce without make an error or do something wrong that you can revert if you want me to try a custom windows let me know in the comment section and i'm gonna show you the versions of this windows that i already optimized several times with a custom windows and you will see that this windows will work so please on the description recommend the windows that you want me to try and i will probably do it for now i'm going straight to fortnite and let's see the fps on game okay so now we're in the lobby and i'm gonna play a couple matches i'm not gonna make the video too longer i just want to play a couple creative day and you will see the fps okay so here we are guys and i'm i'm not playing right now but this guy is just free building and as you can see we have really good input delay because i already optimized my input delay on my pc and as you can see we currently have 300 fps which is not really bad at all and i have some google tabs open so it's not really bad at all you know oh 300 Okay, it's enough. I'm going straight to Battle Royale. Let's see how much FPS we can get on Battle Royale. People is landing over here, but there is a gun, so I'm gonna land over here. Oh, damn. No way. What? No, this Thomas. Okay, guys, so that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys soon. Later.